I don't know. I just don't think that helmet fits him anymore. I don't think so. Either. I really don't think it fits him anymore. So Ian has this little swollen thing back here. I mean, you guys can tell it's right there. So was it a good thing that we took off the helmet and he has a little bump or does it really even matter? Making a mess, it's just calm. What is up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. We're back to work, you already know that, but today we're working from home. It's always a stressful one now with this kid. As they get older, it gets harder and harder and harder. And then it gets more stressful, 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 stressful. Like this. So both of the kids are sick again, guys. I feel like every time I talk to you guys, something's going on with the kids. That's life. <laughs> yeah, they both cut a little uh, boogers and cough and all that stuff. Because the other day in the last vlog we went out for like a little walk and when we went out it wasn't cold but when we came back home it got really windy and we think that's why they caught they got sick right because of that I think so Ari No me acá acabo esta pasta so Anna has gone to the gym y'all. Uh, I think she also went to get her nails done with her cousin. So she left me. I just put Ian to bed. He's been asleep for like about 45 minutes. Hopefully this is for an hour and a half. He's so much on his teething right now y'all. He finally got a tooth out and he's getting his canines out. Poor little guy man going through so much. So just been here so far this morning. I already went to the gym. I went and got a haircut as well. I'm trying to feed this girl. And I don't know man. I just been on like a little rampage of like bobo and like not listening so much. And it's been kind of tough lately. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like tough. A ver tus uñas, a ver que se manicure. Ah. Ay, espantame. Shout out to Mari. Damn. A ver, mira, si las uñas, mira las uñas de mami. Te pinto, no, estas, te pinto las tuyas. Mira. Wow. Te las pongo a ti también aquí. ¿Sí? No, mamá. No, no más mamá. No, mamá, ok. Ok, no más mamá. Damn, yo, our baby drawer cabinet is coming to an end. It's not going to an end, it's just getting moved. Well, most of the baby stuff that we have here, we're not going to use it no more. I know, because this, this doesn't matter, so. I already took out a lot of them. But a lot of this stuff is stuff that we don't even use anymore. Honestly, there's some stuff that we never even used at all. I don't even know why we have it. Like what? Some bottles, some pacifiers. Ian has officially almost started walking, y'all. All right, Ian. En serio, ¿qué te puedo hacer? No me dejes caer mal. ¡Wow, wow, wow, wow! ¡Es too scary! Today is the day Ian might get his helmet off. Today we have the appointment. Mm -hmm. We have an issue. We came around, run into the Ian's got a bump in the back of his head now. Mm -hmm. and we don't know what it is, and we're kind of worried because he has like a little loose little bolita in there. We don't know what it is. Ian has actually not been wearing his helmet for the last two days. Two days, right? Yeah. 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 He didn't wear it yesterday, and we took it off last last night at night, and he hasn't had it back on since then. So today's gonna be two full days. Yeah, cause because we think, and so does my mom think that he got that from like the helmet is fitting him really tight now. We think that's why he got the little he has like a little bumper right here, and like a little ball inside of there. So we haven't put it on. We're just gonna go to the appointment, tell him what's going on, and honestly, I'm really worried. You're pretty worried too, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, it's pretty worrying, um, but he's been eating, he's been drinking. He has been fussy, but that's just him regularly on the normals. Look at this girl. Bajate de ahí. Te vas a caer. She slipped off. She fell. All right, y'all. So, we're, like I said in the morning, we're working today from home. We're now we're currently in our lunch. And Ian woke up. Oh, man, this kid is giving us a lot of trouble today. It's been really tough to work and work with Ian. But I'm gonna try to feed him some lunch. He's there right now, kind of chilling. We also have a lot of food that we gotta cook, so I'm defrosting some beef. There's chicken here to defrost. There's some mess everywhere. But working from home is always a mess because we're just trying to do things really quick and then go back to work. We're gonna see, hopefully, Ian wants to eat. I'm gonna color the pollo. I'm 
good. I don't know, do any of you guys work from home and have to deal with like toddlers or kids? And it's just like, it, it's hectic, man. It's really, really hectic because we gotta get our work done. At the same time, we wanna, you know, of course we're watching the kids. And Addie's so independent. Uh, which is amazing. I think we can just leave her with a bunch of toys. She, her imagination just runs wild and she kind of just starts playing with the toys, talking to them and doing things with them, which is bad. This little guy, man, he just wants to be held or being looked at the entire 20 times, 24 seven. And it's crazy how different kids are because Addie was not like that at all when she was a baby either. We worked from home when she was a baby. And you should have, actually at the time, this was during COVID time, we were working from home even more. And I think it was the same, so independent. We were able to just leave her there, she would just chill and do her own thing. And with the end, Anna was saying that it's making us, it's making her wanna not work from home anymore. <laughs> Cause how tough it is, it's really tough. And we get our work done, of course. It's just really, really tough to do it all at the same time. Let's we'll see if we get some good news for Ian. Hoping today he get his helmet. What are you gonna do to tell us he's not a zero yet, though? I don't know. I just don't think that helmet fits him anymore. I don't think so. Either. I really don't think it fits him anymore. But we'll try to show you what he has in the back of his head. We haven't been able. To. I think that's why he has a bump in the back of his head because the the helmet when he moves with it, it's, it's, I think it's hitting him like hard. <laughs> and if we got all that bruise right here, man. Like you said, we took off the helmet for like a day and a half. Almost two days. That might just be a sign up, but I haven't seen that before. You might ask the doctor when you go. Okay, a what sign? Like a sinus. So there's sinuses all oh. kind of around. So usually I see it above the ear where it kind of bulges out. Okay. Um, but I don't think it's anything to worry about. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But let's see where you're at, bud. I know last time you were pretty close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Here it is, bud. He's so calm. <laughs> From sinuses? Yeah, maybe that's why he's been sick. That's probably why. It doesn't go away. Could, I never heard of that. Nah, me neither. So Ian has this little swollen thing back here. You guys can tell it's right there. That's how we took it off. So it's that right there. That little, well, you guys can tell a little bar right there. But I guess it's nothing to do with the helmet. So we need to call the pediatrician, see if we can maybe see him early. Is he basically a zero or you don't know yet? What's that? Is he basically a zero yet or you don't know uh, yet? Ah, we don't know yet. Okay. But you guys are done or you want to go more? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's check. Let's see where he's at. I know, buddy. Oh, you're basically yeah. at zero? <laughs> so basically, yeah. So was it a good thing that we took off the helmet and he has a little bump or does it really even matter? I don't think it, it would matter. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we need to go back.
Okay, and that was the first one. Oh, okay. Um, so you can kind of see this is the top view. So we got all of the purple and all of the purple out this way to kind of round out. And then he kind of came up a little bit here and not too bad on the side. So it was basically more in the front and the back here. It was almost, it's basically almost a perfect circle. Yeah, so basically that's, a, that's the finished product. Kind of crazy how it went from like here, here. It's pretty flat now. Yeah. That's crazy. Look how it was right here. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Oh man. Yeah, that's pretty, the difference here to that. That looks insane. All right. Um, yeah, so I think it looks fantastic. Yeah. So um, we can give you your certificate of completion. Um, okay. We won't see you anymore, so that's kind of sad for me. <laughs> we'll see you around town, maybe. <laughs> The technologies, man, well, there's not even technology, it's just a little helmet. That is crazy. I'm pretty amazed. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It, it's always fun to see how kind of they change, you know, and, yeah. and every kid's different. I mean, he, he rounded out pretty good. Some kids, you know, they're, they're still a little bit off, but we get some correction. It just kind of depends on their growth, their age, their, you know, how diligent the parents are. That's a big one for me. Yeah. We were so strict with yeah. things. Super I mean, strict with things. I can tell. <laughs> how do you feel? How do you feel? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we feel happy. Ian's, Hi. Ian's enjoying a raspberry wine. Don't mind him. Mmm. <laughs> Everything came out absolutely beautiful, amazing. His head is completely fixed. Show him the certificate. Show him the certificate. Damn, Ian's first certificate. Graduated. Certificate of completion. So it's exciting, y'all. We're, I mean, you know, it's like finally got his helmet off. But like I was said in that video, well, early in the video, he does have the ball right here. Mente. So Anna already, you already made an appointment. Yeah, we have an appointment for next week. He's still there, so it's not part of the helmet. So it's kind of worrying. I don't know, it's really worrying me. Yeah, it's just, we don't know what it is. It's, he has a little, a little ball. It went down a little bit. And based on what the doctor told us, it could be related to sinus. Um, but yeah, we need to go take him to his pediatrician and they gave us an appointment for next week Which is the closest one So hopefully it goes down by then if not, hopefully it's nothing. There's nothing for us to yeah. worry about. But look, he's already all dirty because he's eating raspberry Like at the end? Then no tengo casco. No tengo casco. No Now little man needs a haircut. <laughs> we can finally cut his hair, so he needs a haircut. His hair is crazy. With that being said, guys, I guess this is finally the last episode of Ian's helmet. Ian's helmet experience. No more helmet. You guys won't be seeing that anymore. We're so happy. We're so excited. So we'll keep you guys updated with the appointments that I have next week. Hopefully it's nothing bad. We're gonna go ahead and finish out this video. Thank you guys so much for watching the Mother Family, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Ahora tú nos miramos, cuates. Adiós. Será